Welcome back to me. We didn't know how to start last week without yes. you. We were lost. There's one question that the listeners are almost certainly asking themselves right now, and that is, how do you feel, Luke? I don't know. Hmm. Welcome to Multiple Nerdgasm with your hosts, Matt, Luke, and Dan. Multiple Nerdgasm, your guide to all things nerdy. I'm I'm trying to work just work out if it's wearing off yet or if it's in my head or mm, you got to normalize. For that one week I was great. Loved it. Dan <laughs> yeah, came to I'm not surprised. Me. I don't remember it. Yeah, you were like a really? zen monk. You were <laughs> that was one. calm, centered, at peace with the world. Mm. Just Wake up, watch some television, go to sleep. But the only bad part is every two hours I had to hit my blood pressure checked. Mm. Oh, really? That makes for a very... It makes, even though I did a lot of sleeping, I was still very tired. I think sure. that's what they do in Guantanamo as a torture, don't they? <laughs> they wake you up every two hours. No, they apply pressure, I think. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's certainly what my daughter does to torture me. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say Luke's experience mimics why. I mean, I, obviously, I didn't have to wake up for it, but they kept coming in to check on Jenna after we had... Mm. After mm. I say we had Lyra, after she gave birth. <laughs> yeah, to yeah. And, and I love and then, how he also prefaced this by saying, I mean, it didn't affect me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he started this but, off by saying, I had a similar experience and then <laughs> yeah. proceeded I watched to just someone else have a similar experience distance himself from <laughs> that. while I was awake. When I was asleep, yeah. obviously, I didn't notice. Mm. Yeah. And he's because sometimes it would take a little while to actually nod back off mm. at night. And oh, then yeah. finally sure. nod off, and then you're going to wake up again. And it's not like a. Then they've got to check your blood pressure, and so mm. that's waking you up. It's not a yeah, mm. not invasive. That was thing. Just, she said the same thing. She'd get to sleep, and someone would come in and go, "You all right?" She's like, "Yeah, I was. Yeah, fuck I off. was." <laughs> I just remember when um, the day after Harper was born, one of the nurses came in and went, "What are you both doing awake?" And we're like, "What?" <laughs> And she was like, one of you needs to be asleep at all times because you will never be awake <laughs> at the same time again. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Ever. I, that was again. certainly a thing for a period in mm. his house. Um, Harper did something h- hilariously annoying the other day. Um, Matt, I remember <laughs> you saying that you guys had gotten quite disheartened by cooking delicious meals um, for your daughter only to have her just spit them out <laughs> in disgust. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Um, well, Harper's taken that to the next level now, right? I didn't even put it in front of her. I prepared a meal and was bringing it over to her. And I said, do you want this? Like I was just kind of holding it up mm. for her. And she went, Bleh. That just. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know how she knows that that's how you like insult somebody's food. Uh, yeah. You know, she just made like, the kind of spew ah! face. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like that looks fucking disgusting to me, Dad. Um, never give him the option. Here is what you get. Oh, it's not Alira. an option. It's just Lyra. <laughs> now I don't know where she picked this up. It must be at daycare or something. Now instead of like she, for, when she says no, she, she actually goes no. She goes mo and like shakes her head. <laughs> when she, instead of saying yes, she goes uh huh. Oh, and like, that's cute. I don't, that's uh, yeah. Right. So I'm encouraging yeah. it now, and I, I don't uh-huh. know where she learned it. But then the other day, I got her out of the bath, and she was wrapped in a towel, mm. and I put her down on the changing pa- like mat thing, and I got a diaper, and I stood up with it, and she looked at it, looked at me, and went, "Uh oh," <laughs> and I said, "What?" I said, "Did you pee in the towel?" And she goes, "Uh huh." <laughs> like, no, I, I was like, "All right, I can't be mad at this. It's too yeah, funny." I know. Yeah. Uh huh. I like. I actually it when think they, she might have gotten that from you. When peeing in towels, Maybe. you pee in a lot of towels. <laughs> yeah, peeing in towels. Yeah, I've been away on holidays with Matt before. <laughs> it's just a vacation thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fucking bomb vacation. Okay, I'll piss I was, wherever I want. I was lying there in my towel, and Luke came over with my clothes, and I went, "Uh oh." <laughs> and Luke was like, "You peed in your towel, didn't you?" And you're like. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, and you can't get bad at that. It is no. funny when they say words they've never said before because you're like, did mm. you just learn that just now or have you only known that and only now decided to start using that word you know? Like, yeah. Mm. She yeah. woke up the other night crying and I was just going to go and give her a little cuddle, settle her down and put her back in the cot, right? But I'm, I'm giving her a cuddle. She popped the binky out of her mouth and then just whispered in my ear, milk? And I was like, uh, she's never said that before because she never had to. I always just bring her milk when it's milk time. Yeah, yeah. But, but I was like, oh, you you know what this is called? All right. 
I'll get you some mm. milk. That's fine. It's not a not a big. Have ask. you had anything where they've tried? They're trying out a new word, and they don't know if it's the right context yet. <laughs> I don't know about I mean, that. She, actually, she uses the same word for a couple of things usually. Yeah, but you, you have to kind of figure it out via context which mm. one she's talking about. Yeah, all fruit is apples to Harper. So oh, yeah, when sure. she says apple, you've got to guess which fruit she wants. Mm. <laughs> well, it's oh, wah. It's wah apple. is water or oh, milk. Yeah. Or, oh sure. Um, so Diddy is Bluey, but Diddy <laughs> yeah. is also her Bing, Donkey Binky. Kong's son. <laughs> yeah, that's mm. it. But then she said, "I might have told you this already." She says she started asking Diddy wa, Diddy wa. I was like, "Diddy wa? What's Diddy wa?" Mm-hmm. And then I like so, and she's pointing at the cupboard, so in the cupboard. Oh, she has a Bluey cup. Do you want oh, blue, oh, bluey right. water? Bluey water. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, oh. that's, that's quite clever. <laughs> that is, yeah. 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 That's how Did language is constructed. Yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I never thought about it. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Well, so, so last week we talked do, about typical family station wagons for 40 minutes. We as did. Yeah. We, we did a lot of talk about, about baby words. Yeah. I think I put it in the show notes. We talked about cars for way longer than Luke would normally allow. Mm, mm. Yeah. Um. My sister Sarah, she did mention that. Oh, she did? Okay. <laughs> she went, I've listened to half the podcast so far, and all they've done is talk about cars. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, listeners. Well, it's like it's like well, when, when I'm not on and I listen back, there's no movie news. It's 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 just game news. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like we always just lean into whatever the one person who's not there likes the yeah. least. <laughs> well, I'm going to jump straight into movie news this week. Sure. Go on. Yeah, there's quite a so, bit. I've got a lot of news. I went and saw a movie. Oh. Did you? Oh. I went and saw Avatar 2. Oh, did Wait, you? Wait, did you? Yep. Okay. Huh. Drum roll. Okay. Uh, it's better than the first one. Okay. Okay. Or actually, I think it was better than the first one. It's very long. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I know they've cut parts out because sometimes you're watching it mm. and there'll be a scene and then it'll cut to another scene and it's all like, why are we here? Right. Like, you know <laughs> that there's- been a conversation cut or there's been yeah right but it could you could cut that movie down to an hour and a half easy right yeah <laughs> luke could instead of the three Easily. hours it is well, i did instead of the three hours i did read an article today that said he's already submitted a i don't think it's nine hour but he, yeah he's yeah exactly nine hour yeah. cut of avatar three mm. and he's told them I want all the special effects done, done so I need more before money. Before I cut it down. And then I'll start cutting it down. Like, what <laughs> yeah. a fucking cheeky I bastard. Know. And they'll and, let him and, do and it I can, too. And, and, I, yeah, and I, I do believe it because it is, yeah, There, are, as I said, there are scenes where it's sort of like cut and it's like, no, you, you've missed something. Mm. Yeah, not, right. not like anything huge, but I know you that can just he tell. had something else yeah. there. Mm. Okay. Mm. Um, the, the big bad guy from the first one, this might be a little bit of a spoiler, but it's- Don't care. The start of the movie. I know he's in it. He's back. Oh, okay. I knew that. He, he's mm. now a, an avatar as well. He's a clone. Oh, oh, okay. oh, all right. Which I just thought was a bit weird. I knew no, he was when, back and I was When they run out how, of but... ideas, they always go for clones. Look at Alien Resurrection. Yeah. yeah. So all the all the bad sort of um, marine guys, they're all back and they're all clones. Oh. One of them was quite weird because as an avatar, I don't know. Did they grow her avatar with the tattoos, or did she go and get tattooed after they? Oh, interesting. Put her in? Like that was a bit weird. But so there's that. Um, Sigourney Weaver had sex with a planet. A planet. Okay. That's my theory. I don't think that's coming out for another movie or so. Hold on. All right. <laughs> Wind this back. Is you so, to is, be uh, clear, is Orson Welles the voice of the planet? Yeah, they're my favorite <laughs> yeah. planets. Yeah. <laughs> I missed the very start of the movie. I'd watch Orson like Welles as a planet. Five minutes. Fuck Sigourney Weaver. <laughs> but there was- Impossible. Meaningless. <laughs> Meaningless. So Sigourney Weaver's not really in it. Right. Okay. She's, she's got like a few- They're like, where is she? And somebody and goes, oh, oh, fuck, on a planet, probably. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, she had a daughter. Where, where is she always? And that no one knows who the father is, a but the daughter has it's his Unicron connection <laughs> we to know the who planet. The is. Right. <laughs> but they don't go into any further detail. I think they're sort of setting that up for future movies. All right. Okay. Um, is Sam now, Worthington in this there- still? He's still in it, right? Oh, yes. He's in it a lot. Oh, yes. And this is, this is part of the thing I don't understand. So they bring the Marines back to go after Sam Worthington, who's the head of the Rebels things. Mm-hmm. But Sam then leaves, John Sully leaves with his family and goes into hiding. 
And then we don't hear about the rebels ever again. Oh. <laughs> We're just focused on getting Jake Sully still. Oh, okay. Right. Oh, I see. Uh, I see what you're saying. He's no yeah. longer in that position, but they still want to... Yeah, okay. That's that's still what the whole movie's about, is going after him. Mm. And there's a new... It's not an obtainium that this movie's about this time. Oh, they've, they've obtained called, that. It's can't get it, can't get him. <laughs> there are these whale-like creatures mm-hmm. oh, yeah. that are intelligent, mm-hmm. that talk to the Navi. And they, in their brain, is a drug that stops humans from aging. Oh, oh. okay. Just completely. That's convenient. Mm. Yep. Mm. So it's in, in um, other words, Cameron read Dune and went, what if the spice was literally <laughs> in the yeah. worm? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and yeah, look, I thought it was better than the first one. I think the first couple of weeks are going to do well because, mm. and I think it's going to be, an old audience, because this is the first time I've been to the movies in a long time where the mm. the, the audience was older. Mm. Right. Like, they were sort of 60s and... <laughs> did, oh, did, you, I think, did, you, did you poll them? Yeah. Well, well, welcome back to Pick an Age. Whoa. How old are you? <laughs> <laughs> Though, I just... Oh, yeah. the, the crowd felt older. There were a lot yeah. of older They felt older. It was dark, there. but they felt older. <laughs> they felt older. Sag, yeah. Things weren't quite as high as it used to be. Yeah, not as mm. taut. Yeah. Yeah. So, and that's why I think, but I don't think it's going to, I think it's going to drop off very quickly because mm. I don't know. I think it's the big pull was the 3D. The 3D was still great. Okay. Oh, I was going to ask, did you see it in better 3D? than the 3D in the previous or the same? That's the same. The same. Okay. Yeah, okay. Which was better which, than every other 3D, great. but yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. okay. it's, it's a movie made for 3D. Yeah. It wasn't a movie yeah. that made that had 3D put with in. With a camera that has two lenses. Like, yes. You can't yeah. get more 3D. Like it's not and, it's not fake. That's so it's mm, got to be. Yeah, well, well I, I guess they still if, have to do CGI. So that's they fake, still have but, to, but it's still. It's, but they've got it's software that they for do that. the it's CGI a, in that same same format. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but that's what they should do. They should if they if they want to be something. It shouldn't be let's make a movie and then make it three D. It's look, we've got this vision. This would look good in three D, like Avatar, mm. and then make mm. it that way. Yeah, or not, even I doesn't have to be everything during that phase where everything was in. Th- 3D and cartoons mm-hmm. were in 3D and, and reg- just regular movies <laughs> were in 3D and it was ridiculous. Um, I did go and see Final Destination 6 or something. <laughs> One of them. And yeah. I was like, this is the only kind of movie I want to see in 3D. Like, unless there's a knife that- or blood coming out of the screen at me, I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> I'm not going to watch something that stars Cameron Diaz. Mm. And you, you know what I mean? And, and have her be in 3D. I, I just want... Mm. Spectacle if I'm going to see 3D. The, 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 there were mm. scenes where there was like water dripping down, and, and every now and again I go like that because it did feel like it was water oh. dripping in front of my face. Mm. But no, I look, I liked but it. But that go was just one it. of the elderly people that he was feeling. <laughs> <laughs> look, go see it. I don't think you'll be going, it's not going to be like last time where you're going to, I, um, I need to go see it again. I don't know that I will go see this. I don't know that I will be able to. I'll be mm. honest. I, I'm yeah, not sure how take I would go lot. see it. And I'm not sure that I would bother. Mm. Sorry, James Cameron. Like, I he needs more money though. I feel I've only got limited movies I can see in their yes. cinematic form, and I'm Correct. saving mine for Oppenheimer. Oh, did you see because- the, the the preview leaked? Did you watch it? No, I tried to peek? find it. I couldn't see it. Oh, uh, I watched it. Does it mm. exist? Yeah, oh, yeah. Doesn't look good. No, no, no. It. It looks oh, very good. Okay, good. I was like, oh, fuck, I'm going to have to watch this. Yeah, and I'm going to have to watch it in IMAX because he, he mm. apparently there's stuff, and I don't know what it is, but he, he's like, you have to watch this in IMAX, and I think it's got something to do with the explosion. I saw an article this week that said that he they recreated a the, the first you know, the test explosion mm. yeah. with only practical effects. But the article- that makes, like that makes me nervous. Yeah, well, the mm. article did, was like- non-committal about like wait did they set off a nuke or not yeah, just, yeah that's, that's right that's yeah. what you're implying is that what you're and you saying, know you're doing yeah. it and you're very carefully not saying mm. that but is that did they just film a nuke yeah i don't think so but i mean so it's can all practical you, effects can you have a nuclear bomb and then just not have it go nuclear do you know what i mean i'm, I'm doing the air quotes because <laughs> well, has, it, has there so. been any well it could be that has any country been testing nukes lately? Because it could have just been... <laughs> hey, China, we need to get some... I don't, uh, 
I don't think you're supposed to be. Some B-roll, yeah. No, I think... Well, well, France was testing them not long ago, wasn't You say not long ago. You're talking about Muaroa in the 90s, aren't you? 30 30 years ago. (laughs) (laughs) I I do like the idea that Christopher Nolan could get, like, a permit. Yeah. Like, if anyone could, it would be Christopher Nolan. We've got some uh, some paperwork here. It says they want to surf a new coin. Absolutely not. So it's the new Christopher Nolan film. Oh, oh sorry. Well, yeah. hang on. Let's have a yeah, chat. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Let, let him explain it. I yeah. might not get it, but can I uh, can I have a walk walk on role in the film? Okay, maybe yeah. I'll maybe I'll sign. So this. it depends on when he filmed it. If he filmed it, um, sort of in the last decade. If he was friends with North Korea. Mm. <laughs> Then maybe, I mean, I hope he's not. <laughs> I hope he's not too. That's but maybe thing I it's hope like six degrees Nolan. of separation. Like maybe he's friends with Rodman, and Dennis Rodman yeah. like got him in. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I know where you can film a nuke. Yeah, yeah, I got you, mate. Um, yeah. Speaking of uh, Nolan, Matt, mm. some follow up after last week's episode. Did I did go back Tenet? and watch the other half of Tenet. Um, mm. Loved it very much. Uh, I feel gypped. If we're still allowed to use that word, I was going to say, are we allowed to say that? <laughs> I feel what I mean. There's what's the, what's another word we can say in front of it? Yeah, you know, in front of it instead of it, ripped but off, I, cheated. Ripped I feel off. ripped off. I feel <laughs> yeah. I feel <laughs> like, and I don't want to sound like Luke. This should have been a series. I, this one mm. movie is not enough to tell this story. Mm-hmm. There's so much more I need to know, and it's annoying mm. because I know that. He's not going to do a sequel or a prequel no. where you see more. He's just going to be like, that's it. It's all there for you. All the clues are there. And I'm like, that's yeah, all the fair ideas enough. I had. But I want to see, <laughs> that's right. I want to see everything else. Mm. Mm-hmm. Well, I think a lot of movies now would be better off as a series instead of being, or even like, and they don't even have to be a long series. Even like go for like a, do a five hour movie split up into five segments. Mm. Mm. We've got, well, speaking of, Things that are a series. I, I thought this was a movie, but we've got some. Mm. We've got some Henry Cavill news. Yeah. Oh, that's, um, oh Henry oh. Cavill. <laughs> so you should listen to us. Poor Henry. Or me. He's had a rough week, and, and uh, well, this seems like it's maybe a a nice end cap to the week for him. Mm. So, but we'll, we'll start at the beginning else too. But yeah, go ahead. We'll start at the beginning. Henry Cavill will not be playing Superman again. Yep. He had a meeting no. with James Gunn, and uh, James Gunn told him. I'm writing a new Superman movie. We're scrapping everything else. Mm. I'm writing it. And he's younger than you. So you're fired. Yeah. <laughs> Verbatim. <laughs> <laughs> End quote. So, no. Yes, no. Old, apparently, they, it, apparently it was, you know, it was all amicable and everything. Well, amicable. Because well, yeah, Henry yeah. Cavill then posted on Instagram and said, despite it's telling me sad. I should announce this and quit my fucking other job at yeah. Netflix, they've now told me I'm not doing this anymore. So he was certainly bummed about it. Yeah, yeah, that was that. That was a nice. He was having a go at them, but he was. Yeah, it was. He was it was polite about was, it. Oh, I completely yeah. understand. Especially but because here's the well, thing, a, like, a huge good thing, luck like, finding like, another actor who loves being Superman as much as Henry Cavill does. Like, <laughs> like set aside the fact. In. Yeah, I mean, true, and like he is the look of Superman without even having to try. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like he is. Perfect as Superman, and I'll still say he he didn't ever get to live up to that challenge because the movies he played Superman in were all very flawed. And mm-hmm. I would have loved to have seen him in a James Gunn presents Superman yes, movie. Totally. But I can actually see why James Gunn might be doing this because James Gunn's now in control setting up the DC universe now. Yes, mm. and if you're going forward and trying to make something for the future. Henry Cavill's sort of at the end of his, getting to the end of his time being Superman, just with well, his age and It things. kind of and muddies the water a bit too, if you're saying, now this is a reboot and it's like, well, that's the same guy. Yeah. Like, mm. is this or is this not connected to the other movies I've seen where Superman behaved differently kind of thing? Yeah, yeah. It's com- it could be a bit confusing. And yet it's still unclear who the Batman will be in this universe as well, because there's certainly rumours that Matt Reeves- the Reeves Patterson Batman is is coming across. Well, but shut down. I've got the, yeah, I've got that in here somewhere. James Gunn yeah, says James no, Gunn that's shut not that happening. Down. Hmm. Is there so a chance Reeves it'll still be Ben Affleck? Because I, I also don't too. feel he got a fair go at doing his. I, Batman. Yeah, I'm actually more upset that he didn't get a chance to be Batman. Well, not only that, they've got the the other thing that happened is Wonder Woman three got canned, 
with um, mm. Patty. So the, there was a bunch of stuff floating around. It's definitely cancelled. The first article said that she wrote a treatment and it was in, in there was garbage. And the studio yep. said, try again. And she said, I will not try again. And they mm. said, all right, then we're done. No worries then. She's, Off you go. She says, on your bike. yeah, she says, that's not what happened. I would have, I would have had another go, but they just said, let's just call it quits. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, yeah, I think it, it, it would have been, she presented a treatment. It wasn't in line with the direction and it must have been yes. very, very not in line with it. And, uh, yeah. and they said, actually, this isn't going to work. You know what? Yeah. So I guess that means Gal Gadot probably isn't Wonder Woman anymore either. I mean, this is and this is a great opportunity to get rid of fucking Ezra Miller. So yeah, yeah. Although I, I read an article this week that said the Flash is as good as Spider Man No Way Home. <sighs> it's got Michael Keaton in it, which excites me. I watched Batman it, Returns. It also may have multiple flashes in it too, right? Yeah, I heard. I did hear that. Yeah, because mm. mm. this is also it's definitely Ezra Miller's last time. Being the Flash. It's got to be, right? So. Because, Last yeah, time they, being fucking anything, surely. I can't imagine mm. James Gunn saying, no, no, we've decided to keep Ezra Miller, despite yeah. the bad press. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. We fired uh, Gal Gadot, but we're keeping yeah. Ezra Miller. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The one, ha- have the, they fired her? No, no, not no, necessarily. No, no, no. no, but I mean, no. seems likely, right? She Given is that- so vanilla, blando- that mm. I think they could easily replace her with somebody with, with any charisma. <laughs> she, like- Visually, like her does a great job, right? Visually, spot on, great. Oh, she's like, beautiful, bef- for sure. No, no, but even like her, her physicality and everything is great. It's just that she's not- She's not, a she's not an actress. Actor. Yeah, she's right. not an actress. She never claimed to be an actress. She's a model. I reckon they'll keep Gal Gadot. I reckon they'll keep it too. I re- Margot I reckon, Robbie. I'd 100% keep Margot Robbie. She's already transcended mm. one paradigm shift anyway from- Oh, that's true. Mm. Suicide, Suicide Squad into- Suicide Squad, yeah. yeah. Um, who else- I'm excited about this Flash movie now, despite Ezra Miller. Oh, me I just too. want to see it. Uh, and perhaps because of what else? <laughs> now, because of Michael Keaton, and, to be honest. I just, yeah. I'm excited to see that. Oh, yeah. We, we, and um, oh. will he revive through reshoots or whatever? Is he considering the Batgirl movie they've already filmed? They, apparently, they said he had a meeting with the directors. I don't know what that means, but mm. yeah. Can it's we poss- fix this, possible. maybe? Um, there's the. I mean, we'll get back to... Henry Cavill's week, mm. but this, <laughs> after this DC rabbit hole. But there is some other news that might be upsetting to Luke. Mm. Uh, the Rock might be in trouble mm. of some sort because apparently- What's the Rock uh, done? Well, Black Adam is uh, a bit of a flop, mm. it seems. It's going to lose 50 to $100 million for Warner Brothers. Did and any of us see ouch. it? Luke, you, Luke, you're the most likely no. to have seen it. and you. No. Okay, so this is a superhero it's movie DC. starring your favorite actor- Mm. And you still didn't That's go and DC, see it, and you are still it. the only cinema-going patron here among us, and you didn't even see this. This is why this movie's well, a flop. Even, even like the Flash we were just talking about, it's meant to be like really, really good. I'm probably not going to go see that one. Like, I, I don't um, care for this universe. I, I don't home. know. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know Black Adam from the comics. I'll, I'll, I, it's, he's not no, on I, my I, radar at all. It's not. I mean, he's, as far as I am aware, he's not one of the big ticket DC. Mm. superheroes and so i was a bit surprised that the rock was talking him up so much because he made a big fuss about how it was the era of black adam because he thought cavill was done he thought superman was done and i know that he was upset about this cavill announcement coming back yeah Mm. yeah a couple of weeks ago and in the article i read the other day the reason he's in trouble or maybe in trouble is uh apparently he or his people may have misrepresented financially uh, how Black Adam did in the beginning oh. to secure um, kind of more funding and advertising dollars and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And so there's some talk, basically Warner executives are saying, allegedly, they lied to us about some of these numbers to make it look like this film was more successful than it was. Right. Which is not good. Well, that that's Because a- I think, genuinely, I think if that's true, he probably thought it was going to be more successful. And he mm. just gambled and lost. But wh- why that. would they be getting their numbers from The Rock and not <laughs> they're the distributor, the publisher? Well, he's like, he's, he's got <laughs> the it's, it's his production company, right? That does that that made it, presumably, right? Like Warner Brothers paid for it. But mm. I'm, I'm guessing, it, I, I get, maybe I'm wrong. But I mean, that's certainly what the article said was that The Rock's people had misrepresented some financials to do with the film in order to make it look like it had been 
more financially successful than it was. Yeah, his company's no, called Seven was. Bucks Productions. Hmm. Because that's all he had in <laughs> yeah. his wallet. But they found out it cost well over $7. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Yeah, dozens of dollars more. <laughs> So, Look, maybe anyway, I'll that, watch that, this when it comes on Disney Plus. I, I, yeah. I like. I'll watch well, anything where Disney Pierce Brosnan has a beard. That's when the DC movie comes on Disney Plus. <laughs> oh, <that's laughs> is that how that works in Australia? <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I just realised as I said that maybe they are on there. No, and actually, I, I realised that's not what I meant. Where, where do the DC <laughs> movies go? They want to go to. There, there's well, a, a shot of gun. There's not a one station for hmm. them. This isn't in the spreadsheet either. But I think some of them were going to HBO Max. But like HBO Max is. Oh, God, man, they're butchering. Insane. They are butchering shit now. I don't understand what's going on. They've thrown Westworld in the trash completely. Yeah, They've that's right. They're like, and then they're oh, like, yeah? you know what? You're not getting and a fifth season? Even watch Fuck it. you. Yeah. Yeah. You don't get like, any of the seasons uh, now. So I don't know what's going on over there. No, Warner Brothers has just gone insane. Mm. So weird. Yeah, not, um, not only Westworld. There are other shows too, but that was the big one that I was like, what, they, what they're just not even going to let us watch the old yeah, seasons that's now. it. Forget what it. What are you talking about? Like, what do you lose- by letting me watch season one of Westworld. <laughs> yeah. I don't understand. I don't understand. Um, if d- Not to but, get off Black Adam completely. But are you watching it or are you upset that you can't no, watch No, no, no. I've been watching. I, I've watched Westworld all the way along. I, no, I, no, no, but I'd watch Westworld season one eventually, maybe about. one day. Oh, no. No. <laughs> no interest in going back. No, actually, that's not true. I did, I did want to go back and watch season one because it's it's so good and it drops off mm. like was very good. steeply after that from very, very good to just quite good. But um, <laughs> just bringing it back to Henry Cavill by way of yes. Black Adam. Mm. I, I do want to yeah. watch Black Adam eventually because I'll watch anything where Pierce Brosnan has a beard because they're, they're the kind of movies <laughs> I like. I like Pierce sure. Brosnan with a beard movies. Is Henry Cavill in this movie? I've heard rumours yes. that he is at least in a post credit yeah, scene. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, good. Good. I like that. That's good. Um, and also, just in terms of Avatar, before we get off that completely, sure. I, mm-hmm. if I don't see this at the movies, which I probably won't, mm. I, I will never see this because as far as I'm concerned, <laughs> there's no yeah. reason to watch this not in 3D. Because as you say, Matt, this is made to watch in 3D. Mm. Mm-hmm. So watching it yeah, in 2D would be like me just reading the book of it. Well, there are ways to do that. I don't, I'm not well, fully uh, across look, all that, but I think, I think our listener, Nate, has a 3D TV. Correct me if I'm wrong, Nate. You can't uh, just I've invite got, me to Nate's it. house uh, to watch movies at his house. Oh, <laughs> well, I just have. So. Okay. Well, Nate, I'll <laughs> be <laughs> around your place at some point but soon when it comes look, out on streaming. F- yeah, for mm. being a three-hour movie, I, think you have to buy I, it I don't on think it'd be... That, but, yeah. Watching it at home in 2D, three hours is a very long time because a lot of... <laughs> A big but it was three episodes of a TV show to be all was right. Them swimming. What's that phenomenon? There's got to be a name yeah, for that. There's an article about that the other day, actually. I know we'd already so, talked about it, though. Mm. That's was, so I thought, funny. I, well, I read the article and I was like, oh, they've stolen this off Luke. That was his What's thing. the psychology of that? But it's, it's so like, yeah. I won't watch a movie over two hours, but I will watch four one-hour episodes of something yeah. back to back. But back. It's, <laughs> it's got to be something about yeah. the way they're structured. It's, with yeah, like it's the like cliffhangers the at each speed of consumption, where it's mm. like, oh, you finished one, you start a new one. It feels like a new thing. Whereas yeah. if it's two yeah. hours, you're like, we're fucking halfway through this. Like, mm. 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 well, it's also when you're sitting down to start. Like, if you because with a one hour show, if there's four, you've got an out. Mm. Like, sure. if you decide I to can stop, stop any time, like, oh, what? <laughs> oh, you you watch the whole thing, but you've got that one hour. Sitting down to watch one hour, that's fine. Sitting down to watch two hours, that's a bit more of a commitment. Sure. Mm. Yeah, yeah. But I could walk away in an hour if I wanted one. to. Yeah. It's a TV yeah. show. Yeah. Well, back on Henry Cavill, he, mm. uh, there was some speculation after the Superman announcement that maybe he'd be able to go back to The Witcher because there's you know, a lot of talk about the reason he dropped out of The Witcher is because he was told he was going to be Superman. Mm. So uh, he will not be returning to The Witcher. They're proceeding as planned. Mm. Um don't really know if if he called them to ask, like, mm. well, yeah, because this is was it was he they also maybe a also looking before. for an out? So just say, just so you guys know, he's 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 done with us. We're not, yeah. Because I don't know if he was super happy there. No, no, I know. There were, mm. Well, there was that too. He 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 wasn't from what yeah. I understand. Mm. So he this may like have also been a bit of an out for him at the same time. Yeah, but just it seems so weird for them to. Because for him to have been leaving and then to get a replacement, there would have had to have been conversations about him going to be Superman. It wouldn't have just been like yeah. a 
No, he said on Instagram, they told him, mm. you need to announce this yeah. mm. to make it official. And then they, and then James Gunn called him and said, yes, sorry about that. So I wonder how much money he gets paid mm. to not do anything. Yeah, yeah that's for a good sure. question. There'll be a payout. They have to compensate sure. him, yeah. Because so there were, there's got to be millions in that. Well, there are a couple mm. of days there where we were all feeling bad for Henry Cavill. And I, st- I mean, I still do. It's not a nice thing to have happened. And, and, and just, I just- I don't know why I just like him. Oh, the other thing I read too was- Yeah, me too. Um, maybe, maybe even worse He's is a that nerd. There was talk about, oh, maybe he could do James Bond, except he was up for James Bond when Daniel mm. Craig was, but yes. they told him he was too young. Mm. And now they're looking for someone younger yeah. for the new James Bond. <laughs> He's too old. <laughs> it's like, oh, another kick in the face. Like, I think he'd be a great Bond. Win. I think he would too, but like, yeah, they're going- Because they, apparently they want somebody for 10 years. Like they want to mm. lock someone into a ten yeah. year, which is thing. which is my thing about Superman as well. That's why they're probably going young so they can keep him on, lock yeah. someone in. Whereas, because he's been Superman for about that now, right? Yeah, and I don't think he's got another ten years looking like Superman. <laughs> I don't know, man. He's in incredible <laughs> he's looking pretty good. shape. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but he's getting to that age where that becomes a bit harder to keep up. That's yeah, fair. but he's he's got a really big. Yeah, I mean, that's start. why I don't look like that. It's just, what? Yeah. just I'm just Hold on. Too how old. old is he? He's, <laughs> he's I think he's nearly forty. He's thirty eight or something. Born in eighty three. Okay, yeah. So he's almost yeah, so forty. He's, yeah, yeah. And if you're looking for another ten years, that means he'd be coming up like yeah. That's a you're no, not no, going to have a fifty year old playing Superman. But he could do James <laughs> Bond for ten years. James Bond could be starting off at forty mm-hmm. and ending up at fifty. Yeah, that's essentially. I agree with what you, actually. Daniel Craig and you know did. what? Oh, That'd be I more think- appealing to me anyway because I'm an old man now. So, yeah, are they, or yeah. are they going young? Like, are they aiming for someone in their twenties or something? I think well, do you remember the yeah. '90s cartoon show James Bond Junior, where it was uh, James, <laughs> James Bond Junior? Yeah, where it's, it was his uncle. Yeah, it was his. Yeah, even though James Bond. <laughs> 100% does not have a brother in the canon. Um, yeah. <laughs> especially not one that he's close to his brother's kids and then passes missions to occasionally, even though he's in college. Yeah. Yeah. Canon, I think you mean Walter PPK. Oh. <laughs> um, but, I, yeah, no, I would watch Henry Cavill as Bond any day. And I think they could mm. make it a little bit more campy, but not mm. Brosnan campy. They could just sure. make it the same they kind of back to comedy campy. that The Witcher <laughs> is. Because I think that's sure. the perfect mix of comedy and action is yeah. The Witcher. Like, it is very funny. And it's funny to watch him take something very seriously in a very strange sure. situation. But then you'll watch an action sequence and it's legitimately the best action you've ever seen. Mm. You guys didn't watch all the season two, did you? I'm going to go back and watch it now because I miss yeah. him already. No, there's some I don't good know. Stuff. I, I, there's and a, particularly like there's some was... stuff in the later episodes, some good action stuff. So I don't know. Season two just didn't grip me like mm. the first season did. I'm, I'm going to try to let it grip me. Grab I'm going to put dick. it right in but its hand the first and say season, grip I had this. to watch twice to get. Mm. Oh, yeah, but that, but in a good way, right? Mm. Like blew my mind when <laughs> yeah. I realized that, how that multiple timeline thing worked. Yeah, because like, that was great. one thing. They needed to make that a lot clearer when we're jumping forward and backwards. I read the book, so but, I kind of already I knew oh, how it sure. all fit. But yeah, yeah, it was, no, no idea. Yeah. But I, thinking about it afterwards, I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, that probably was confusing. So, but, so a couple of days where we, we were feeling sorry for him and, and even people, celebrities online were, you know, kind of making jokes about it. And um, someone we all admire, Raul Coley, mm. uh, said jokingly, he's also a big Warhammer 40K fan mm. known for figurine painting as Henry Cavill is. Yeah. And he mm-hmm. tweeted at him and said, hey, man, if you just want to hook up and make a Warhammer 40,000 movie or something, I'll be up for it. And then <laughs> then mysteriously the next day, Henry Cavill was like, well, actually, yeah. I am making a Warhammer 40K TV series mm-hmm. with Amazon. And uh, and Roll had, had to come out and say, I didn't know about that. I'm not in it. Don't. <laughs> I, was, I was about to say. <laughs> Stop and, speculating. And Stop speculating. Why don't you come and be in my show? <laughs> he was like, no, I didn't know about it. I was just joking. I'm not in it. Don't print the article saying I'm yeah, in it. it yeah, yeah. Don't read into it. Yeah. Um, okay. So a number of things here. Uh, awesome. And I still love, mm. I think Luke is right. That That is kind of partly why we love Henry Cavill is because he's, oh, he's a, a fucking, fucking hot actor, jock, yeah. bodybuilder, but also- Complete nerd. Complete nerd. Like, yeah. I get joy out of what I watched the entirety of that one hour clip online of him just building his own PC. Yeah. Like, yeah. that was amazing. He has, a, he has a YouTube, or he has or he had a YouTube channel where he did, you know, he'd be doing doing his workouts in his garage and then he, he likes to go bike riding. He's got like a, 
a bike, yep. stuff like that. And I'm like, this guy's just fucking cool. Yeah, there's it's fucking. Like you can watch videos cool. of him just painting Warhammer figures. Yeah, like, that's what I mean. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's our yeah. kind of celebrity. But I also really. I love watching his workout videos too. Have you have you ever watched his like him working out with his trainer? It's it's not like Don't you know when so. you watch even Schwarzenegger, right? When he works mm. out, has like this fucking ugly, intense face he puts on, and you can set like. <laughs> Cavill sure. looks like it's fucking easy. He loves it. He does it like a <laughs> ballet dancer practicing yeah, some beautiful routine. Like every, He's just every loving life. part of his body is perfectly held in position. And I'm watching him do mm. reverse sit-ups, you know, the ones where you lock your legs in and then you go from incline oh, yeah. to, to flat. And I mean, I've, nothing- I've never done them, but I, but I know yeah, what you yeah. mean. You know, you've seen, yeah, <laughs> I've yeah, I've only seen Henry Cavill do it. Yeah, yeah. But every now just- and then, I watch YouTube videos of how to work out just to yeah. remind <laughs> yeah, myself. I do that yeah. Too, yeah. So, so yeah. you're just watching Henry Cavill work out. You're not joining. Oh you no, 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 no! Oh, what am I going to do? Okay. What am I going to do? <laughs> um, but on all- days where I feel like I want to be someone who does work out, I watch those correct. videos and then yeah, I'll forget. That's right. Yeah, and then I'll order some supplements online and put them in my in my pantry and a pizza. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I had a good pizza last night. I got crust. And actually, they sent oh, me the wrong pizza. Good. And I was like, oh, this is the wrong pizza. Oh, I don't care. It's still delicious. Mm. I- I'm crust actually like good. with this Warhammer 40K, though, that they're actually going a series, not a movie. Yeah. They listen I to you because yesterday I was told yeah. it was a movie. You yeah, said I it would it be better too. off as a series. Now suddenly they're reporting it's a series. <laughs> yeah. I think it's going to be better as a series because it's. And this is where I think. Remember the World of Warcraft? Movie, yeah, yes. that's that's what I was going to ask. Terrible, yeah. yeah that's Duncan Jones, wasn't it? It was Directed Duncan that. Jones. That, I think could yeah. be better as a series, and I think this is the same because I like awful. With, we need more of it. <laughs> no, no, no. But <laughs> what I mean is, it's because you got a bit more time. Yeah, you to can't s- do enough in a movie. Set up a story yeah, yeah. and stuff. Agree. Whereas yeah. you have to skim over stuff. That people it seems counterintuitive, but you are right. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can do more. Like if they made Westworld just one movie, like it wouldn't have. It's like when they adapt games and the game, like well, they you, did a game, yeah, yeah, like a hundred hours. But put that movie <laughs> next and then to they'll the go, series. <laughs> like yeah, the, a video game that takes you a hundred hours to play, they'll go, oh, here's a two-hour movie. It's like, yeah. what yeah. the fuck? Yeah, come on. Yeah. 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 Whereas I'm not saying it needs to be like a 20-hour thing, but we just having sitcom. a little bit more time set up and explain. 60 episodes. <laughs> <laughs> Wacky scenarios each week. Speaking of so which, you know what I popped on. on the other day? I don't know what, what brain rabbit hole- train of Look thought got me here yeah he just relaxing and living me up his you. best life yeah. he looks yeah. like when uh 80 80 falls over because <laughs> <laughs> he's like yeah. yeah yeah exactly oh, he looks like he's even. been tied up by a speed don't even Go on. Uh, i mean we've got star wars news too if we want to quickly segue to that too ryan johnson is still talking about his <laughs> his trilogy um, is anyone else he's come Mainly out disney he, he has said he will reluctantly step down if required <laughs> but he's not yeah. happy about it he said i think but, he, the quote was it wouldn't be the end of the world if i didn't get to do it but it would be very sad <laughs> but i would have a sad life from yeah, then on be, yeah, yeah. <laughs> i would feel well, like a failure yeah so can disney just just keep ignoring this I just hope he just <laughs> yes. loses interest i don't think they away. have ignored it i or think did they have to fire him, him. <laughs> oh, that was the other thing too with the Patty Jenkins thing, right? Oh, was yeah. Apparently, Rogue the reason Squadron. that they, the reason Rogue Squadron got canned is because she said, oh, "I'm going to do Wonder Woman three instead," and so they shit canned oh. her movie, her Star Wars movie, and now they've shit canned the Wonder Woman movie. So <laughs> Who she is Patty got- Jenkins outside of Wonder Woman? What has she done? Oh, I don't. Like- uh, do I know? Do did she do? Did she do something else? She do or Zero is Dark Thirty? Else? Do yeah, I make that's, that up? It, no, no, no. That, uh, that's who I'm thinking, right? No, Catherine Bigelow did that. Catherine Bigelow so, used to be married to James Cameron. We we were all thinking of that same wrong person. Yeah, she did something before. Like, Wonder has Woman, Patty though? Jenkins ever yeah. made a good movie? Because I don't, I don't believe that Wonder <laughs> Woman's are good movies. <laughs> no. Uh, oh, Monster. She did Monster. What? Oh, but not the one I'm, with. Um, with I mean, with I don't remember if that was good. I remember. I, I, I know I saw it, it at the time. No, that was I didn't with, see um, it. Shelley's Theron and Christina Ricci, but. Um, Rest of development. Don't know. She, no, okay. the rest of right. development episodes. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Right. So no, not so a huge amount. So she knew Ron Howard. Hmm. Yes. And Brian Glazer. Not a bad group to people. To Entourage know. Five: The Killing Betrayal. Yeah, her first movie was Wonder Woman. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Wow. All right. We might never see her again. 
Um, speaking of Netflix TV series, which is like The Witcher, uh, mm. just briefly wanted to mention I'm watching Wednesday. And oh, it's, yeah. Uh, I did want to give fun. that a go. Okay. It's good. It's, I, I, you know, I've, I was a huge Tim Burton fan yes. early on. A bit disappointed by the things he's done of late, mm. but this is fun. It's okay. Good. I attempted to watch it in hospital and then realized after I had the first episode playing, uh, I didn't watch any of it. So no. I was going to try and watch it now. You're just- <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even watching this. I'm just, I'm just <laughs> jerking off. Yeah. No, it's funny. It's, it's. Will it it's, rekindle it's my it's love very for Tim silly. Burton? Because I'm like Perhaps. you, Matt. He, there was a time where I would have said Tim Burton is my favorite director. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, absolutely. I did hands say that. down favorite. Yes, <laughs> those if words have, me, have come who, from my mouth. Who was my favorite I director? Young. I would have said yeah, yeah. Tim Burton easily. Because from I know we've talked about this. The late eighties through to the mid to late nineties, it was just brilliant. I know I've talked about this ad nauseum, but when I was nine years old, mm. my dad took me to see Batman, and it blew my fucking mind. And I was like, Tim Burton is my favorite director. Danny mm-hmm. Elfman is my favorite composer. Michael Keaton is my favorite actor. Yeah. Like, like that's yeah. It, Prince like, is my favorite pop star. <laughs> <laughs> it influenced all the stuff I like about Kim movies. Basinger is my favorite one night stand that won't <laughs> my- go away. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. But uh, you're right. And then retrospectively, you hmm. go back and you watch Beetlejuice, and it is an absolute classic film. And yes. then you build on from there. He does. Ed Wood, which is one of my yep. favorite oh, movies of Ed all Wood's time. amazing. Yeah. Um, Batman Returns, I loved. I know people are mixed on that. I fucking love that movie. I'm Watched coming around on that, week. I must admit. I yeah, still love it. I'm, I'm popped sorry. popped it on recently. Well, well uh, it, it, Batman Returns is silly, right? I'm watching, mm. I watched it again the other week and I was like, yeah, no, this is silly, but I'm just used to it. Um, Wednesday mm. is also silly, mm-hmm. but I think it's good. And it makes it very clear at the beginning of the show how silly it's going to be. Right. Because- like the opening sequence, she gets kicked out of the school that she's at because she puts piranha in the f- in the pool, and they and they <laughs> sure. chew a kid's testicle off. Okay, so yeah, I mean, like, that sounds that's that's the, Adam's family. That's the tone that, of this. That yeah, works it's just for silly. Me. Yeah, it's just a strange tone, and it's sort of hard to judge because I'm trying from just watching that opening scene. It's sort of like, is it real world? Is it not? Because no, it's, it's not. A, it's not because yeah. the town that that this the, the the boarding school she gets sent to is near this town. The the sheriff knows that there are werewolves and he knows this okay. and that. It's like it's all yeah. I it's all very tone maybe chic. this was kind of tonally similar to Riverdale, but it doesn't sound like necessarily that's a good analog either. No, I don't think so. It's just uh, what is it? Well, yeah, to? that's because that's what I originally thought it was going to be that Riverdale. I don't like Riverdale, but I thought it was going to be like that real world, just mm. taking the sort of character, sort of which is very high reimagining type of thing. I don't but- know. The first season of Riverdale was very good. It really dropped off after yeah. that, though. Yeah. Now this this has got it's got vampires, werewolves, creatures of right. that sort in it. Oh, okay. People know that's about it. them, and, and it's not you know. No, I don't think everybody in the world knows about them, but are the Adams like, family certainly themselves not. supernatural, or are they just goths? Well, Thing is in it, right? Okay, mm. it's something interesting about Thing, right? That I learned recently. Okay, mm-hmm. what mm-hmm. is Thing? It's a hand. He's a hand. No, yeah. wrong. Okay, up until the Adams family movie in the nineties, Thing was not a disembodied hand. He, he came was out something- of a box. Yeah, but oh. he wasn't a hand in a box. He was an entire being in a box who only stuck his hand out. That was oh, the gag. Okay. And the gag was he was so hideous they could only show you his hand. And then the <laughs> movie made it just a disembodied hand. Oh, okay. Well, he's a disembodied hand in this. Yeah, sure. But the um mm. the other thing that I learned recently about the Adams family that I did, that blew my mind. In the original comics, right? Mm. The characters didn't have names. Their last name wasn't Adams. Oh. The guy who drew them's name was Adams. It was the Adams family, right? Oh, interesting. Okay. People started referring to them as the Adams family. And so when they did the TV show, they were Mr. and Mrs. Adams. But they also right. didn't mm. have first names and they let the actors choose them. Oh. So John Morticia Austin Gomez. chose Gomez, Gomez as his name. Huh. Why not? Yeah. Hmm. Well, I recommend checking it out. It's good. It's, I saw that the numbers on it are going gangbusters. People oh, are enjoying insane. it, so that's good. Yeah, um, I keep seeing so- everything coming up about her dancing for some. Yeah, I haven't seen oh, that bit yet. Man, she's very good in this. She's very funny. Like as Wednesday, like her performance is is good. So like, you occasionally look up 
from jerking off at the performance <laughs> is what you're saying <laughs> sure yeah yeah i saw an interview with her where she said that um so she, she did her best not to blink and apparently um she would stop takes she went no i blinked we have to do it again yeah like she's just, not heard of editing they could just cut away to another <laughs> scene where she no, wasn't blinking but anyway yeah it's good good performances is funny um mm. it's very that kind of dry humor that's like it's silly like she's mm. r- she's ridiculous and she's like the best at everything but it's sure. i don't know it's done well but, i like it okay so i've yeah. liked it so far i've not watched all of it so far it's good mm. i'll give it a go uh, yeah i want to have a, a little go of it i've been watching random stuff mm. recently and I, I kind of started talking about it before and then got derailed but this week i watched an episode in fact i watched the first episode of gilligan's island <laughs> gilligan's island <laughs> Uh-huh. Right, yep. because it popped into I just my didn't head. Expect that it popped into my head that there was an entire sitcom that went for like ten years or something, where people were on mm. an island, admittedly only three hours from the coast of America. <laughs> right? Yeah. And I'm like, how did they come up with a show where every episode they managed to not be found or not get off the island? <laughs> so I watched the first episode where they they actually do get marooned, um, yeah. and and. Evidently, uh, and they build a raft to like sail away, and I'm like, yeah, okay. okay. Well, I mean, this makes sense. Yeah, you would, right? Yeah. Why isn't that every episode, or why isn't this only a one episode thing, right? Mm. Um, but sharks eat the raft while they're on it. They're, oh, okay. They're four days out at sea. Sharks eat the raft they're on, and so they get shipwrecked back on the same back island. On the same island. <laughs> what other <are the> fucking <laughs> chances? <laughs> <laughs> It's pretty funny, though. I laughed out loud more than once. I'll say that. <laughs> You'll appreciate this. <clears throat> I was at Trivia last night, and the the picture round was mm. movie and TV license plates. Oh. And there was one. I was like, oh, I'm familiar with that. Robin One was one of the oh. license plates. Nice. The Magnum PI Ferrari license plate. Mm-hmm. And Robin Two is the Audi. Oh, I haven't gotten that far yet. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, is that the one that Higgins drives? Higgins drives the Audi, yeah. Yeah, okay. Although at one, point, at one point, Higgins prevents, he forbids uh, Magnum from driving the, uh, the Ferrari, Ferrari anymore. And so mm, Magnum drives, drives the, Audi. the Audi a little bit, yeah. <laughs> I love I love how much I they, lean, remember that they lean into this gag that no one believes he would drive it's a Ferrari. Ferrari. Yeah, yeah. Like- um, They'll laugh there's, at him. Th- yeah, everyone. I mean, there's there's like characters will say it to his face, but then there'll just be little mm. gags. Like he'll pull up at a, like a at a club, and a a valet will go, "Thanks, sir. I'll 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 keep it clean for whoever actually owns this and stuff like that." Just yeah. little. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And there's this one bit where he gets rear-ended by an old lady on the highway. Mm. And he gets out and she's like, oh, I'm so sorry. Please apologize to whoever owns this car. <laughs> like <laughs> yeah. complete stranger doesn't believe it's his car. Yeah. It's a good show. It's an excellent show. I'm sorry. It's excellent. I'm even tempted it's, to watch the remake. It's ridiculous, but it's Where Higgins is a, is a beautiful woman. <laughs> before, I want to talk about, this is our Christmas episode, guys. In oh, case it is too. You yeah. went aware this will, this will come out just before Christmas, so this will be our Christmas episode. And we don't Merry we Christmas. Have, a, Merry Christmas. We have a lot of stuff to talk about, so I don't want to take too long. But I did want to do a little Christmassy thing, and I want to talk about two Christmas traditions that I I'm not sure we've talked about these before. Mm. And I thought they were interesting. The first is uh, I don't know. Uh, you guys have been to Japan, I believe, right? <laughs> you both been to Japan? Yes. I have not. Yep. Was it Christmas Lovely. when you were there? No, no. Apparently, back in the 70s, KFC did a big ad campaign Mm -hmm. called Kentucky for Christmas. And it's (laughs) since then, it's like actually become a tradition in Japan to get KFC for Christmas. Wow. That's the thing. Like for Christmas, you you get KFC. That's a huge thing in Japan. And they don't celebrate Christmas as such, right? Mm. They just, as a, a, you know, an interesting Western thing, they do it. Because, you know, why the fuck would they? But- Mm. You know, like a, uh, but uh, but Kentucky for Christmas. Apparently, people they line up around the block for it, which I just thought was so. Hannah funny. told me about that because she lived there when she was studying, and mm. yeah, that's a, oh, it is a thing. Like it is, it was a marketing thing that just took off, and wow. that's- yes, a marketing success of mm. extreme proportions. Yeah. yeah, it became a tradition. That's wonderful. Yeah, mm-hmm. I love it that they and- arbitrarily placed that on the holiday of a foreign culture and then embraced it, like. <laughs> 
Like, can yeah. we do that? Like, should we should we get Hungry Jacks every Diwali from now on? You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> imagine, but imagine they tried that. I get White right? Castle. Along <laughs> imagine the backlash if if fucking Burger King came out and said, yeah, or, or Hungry Jacks in Australia came out and said, celebrate Diwali with this. People would be like, fuck you, <laughs> yeah, that's back right. off. I think, <laughs> yeah, there was a bit of backlash even about um KFC with the cricket a few years ago. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Get. Because eat KFC while had, you're watching the cricket. Yeah, I remember those ads. Yeah, but I think they had uh, it was something to do with the Indian cricket. I can't remember it. I shouldn't have brought it up because I cannot remember the controversy. Yeah. I was trying to think. No, Indians can eat chickens. Well, the ones who yeah. are vegetarian. I, I thought can. that too, actually. I was like, yeah. yeah you know, know what's funny? When you go to India, there are cows everywhere. They are in the streets and you are not mm-hmm. allowed to like cut them off. You have to just yeah, oh, stop. Yeah. And wait for that cow to go. Mad if respect for the cows. If you're a shop, like a food stall, and a cow just comes in and starts eating, you have to you have to just let it eat. <laughs> you should have shut yep. the door, mate. Yeah. <laughs> if you didn't want that cow in there. Yeah, they can just wander into a building and they've got right away. Yeah, that was one of the two things that I thought was probably not true that was true, and the other one was the shaky head thing. Oh, I've seen whole oh, uh, videos yes, about sometimes that. No. And about how, yeah, and about how, like, it. you're talking to them and they're just doing this, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's, and, and but, as, I mean, not even Westerners, just as people who haven't been doing it their whole lives, you're not doing it right. It's one of those yeah, things. Yeah, correct. Yeah, Like yeah, yeah. trying to pronounce, you know, like Asian language words and things like mm-hmm. that. Is that. You're doing it wrong. You don't know that you're doing it wrong because you can't tell. But for some yeah. reason, I still know if if it's a yes or a no when I'm talking to him and I'm asking the question with- yeah. I still context. know somehow. It's context more of an, makes an acknowledgement. It. Yeah, or maybe it's a context. Or maybe it's mm. like how in, in Italian, ciao means both goodbye and hello. Ciao but means you never food, get yeah. confused. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So the other tradition that mm. I wanted to mention, and I'm, I'd be surprised if Luke doesn't know about this. And again, I don't think we've talked about this before. Is This is a Swedish tradition. Do you know about the Swedish oh, hello. Christmas tradition that would be particularly of interest to you, Luke? Getting no. jerked off by a Swede? It's called Kale Anka, yeah. Kale Anka, which is Swedish for Donald Duck. <gasps> and this is, I mean, I'm, I'm, this article is very in-depth uh, and I'll share it in the show notes. But apparently this is a thing. Uh, ever since 1959, every Christmas in Sweden, they play at the same time uh, a Disney thing called... Mm. From all of us to all of you. It's a Walt Disney Christmas special. Oh, yeah. Or yeah. in Swedish, they call it Donald Duck and his friends wish you a Merry Christmas. Uh-huh. And it's a Christmas special with a whole bunch of sketches and cartoons. I watched this the other day. Really? Oh. There you go. Uh, well, it, and uh, the predominant thing in it is a Donald Duck sketch. Yes. So Christmas they- sketch. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right. It's a Christmas thing. And then apparently- So they play this on all channels at once at the same time is what you're saying. It has been played, uh, I think it's just on one channel, but it's been played every year on December 24th at 3 p.m. Hmm. And as of the year this article was written, roughly 50% of the whole country will sit down and watch this. And it's, wow. they take it very seriously. Everybody stops what they're doing, sits down, watches Donald Duck- as and the world should. You mm. don't talk over it. They don't. They don't. They, don't, they, don't, they, don't, yeah. they take it very. And then this this article says that they just sit there, and then th- like this this person wrote this article sat down with the family, and all they did every now and then was just kind of like you know, you know, you kind of repeat or you yeah 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 say the words as the character saying them because you know it so well that kind of thing. And they took mm-hmm. it very seriously. This person was like, "The fuck are we doing right now?" <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's so, great. So, yeah, that's like fucking how many years is that? 1959? That's like mm. 50, 60 years. You know what's funny, mm. too, is that I, I I popped that on. It's on Disney Plus the other day. And we saw like, oh, it's a Christmas thing. We'll, we'll put it on. Yeah, right. Um, yep. TV, we we must have watched, like if, if we saw any Disney cartoons at all when we were kids, A, they were broadcast on analog, um, oh, PAL, yeah. uh, like broadcast television. Yeah, that was a beta cam master taped off of some other beta yeah, cam master sure. taped off some film stock that was scanned from some old and telecined. Like, I thought this must have been new because it was so Looked high good. def. But right. and then it's like, oh no, no, this is from the fifties, right? Yeah, they, well, they look so Clearly, good. That's not new. He's dead. Yes, <laughs> well, that's right. <laughs> but yeah, but there's still <laughs> Disney things that come out. There's, yeah, you yeah. can still no, watch a Donald Duck show that's new, but this just isn't one. No, this is very old. 
Mm. But um, mm. there's one yeah, scene. Th- this is this is one of those ones where it's got it's got the little ducks, Huey, Dewey, and Louie, but they're not in mm. their like c- classic colours and stuff that they will eventually be known right. for just in from, like the Ducktales. But there's one yep. scene that like you can't you can't ignore it where they sit down to eat a Christmas turkey, and it's like oh. these are ducks, these are birds, Eating a turkey with a bird on the table. Like, uh, it's really it's disturbing. Different. It's a turkey. It's not a duck. <laughs> so, <laughs> if it's a duck and it might be a little different. Yeah. There's a tweet the other day. Someone was like, my secret skill is that I can identify birds. And someone replied with a picture and said, oh, yeah, what's this then? And, a bird. Bird. and a then bird. they go, like, can't fool me. That's a bird. <laughs> <laughs> like, Fuck yes. That's amazing. Yeah. You nailed it. Yeah. That's like there was so a, a fast forward sketch. Um where they had a years ago, where they had um, one of these fake talk shows where they're like, this guy can talk to the animals. And they're like, how long have you been able to talk to animals? He's like, since I was a kid. They're like, wow. And it goes on and on and on and on. And they're like, talk to this, this duck or something. And he talks to it. And then it's just this long pause. He's like, they've never talked back though. <laughs> well, it's like how I can name the capital of any city, capital of any country. Go on, ask me. Okay. Sweden. Ask me. Sweden, S. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. <laughs> so anyway, I thought this was a Christmas tradition that would be right up your alley, Luke, and I, I think you should adopt it. Mm. I think I might. I think now I want it, and Apparently now this is on Disney+. Plus, Plus, it's even learned. easier. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. So listeners, at 3 p.m. on Christmas Eve, stop what you're doing, sit down, and watch Donald Duck with Luke and yeah. half of Sweden. Mm. Yes. At 3 p.m. I've got, um, we've only got a couple of minutes left. If if you want mm. to keep listening beyond that, just pop over to Patreon, become a, a Patreon at the at the required tier and you can join us in the after party for yes. uh, more show every, every yes. single mm. week. Um, so do that. Um, but before we do head over there, uh, James Cameron has said that he feels that he through Avatar, has empowered women in the same way yeah, as, as Marvel that. has empowered women. I think um, he said infinitely better than Marvel. Sure. <laughs> yeah, okay. I was, giving him, yeah. I was giving him the benefit of the doubt. But sure. Luke, would you mm. say that's the case? Would you say that this is a feminist film? Not really. Mm. Mm. I mean, there are women in it, I, I, I suspect. There, there are women in it, and they're, they're, it's not like they're, they're weak or anything, but the, the, the leader's... I think I know one of the characters he's talking about. So when they go to the sea village mm. to live there, there's the... The cunt village. <laughs> there's the male leader and he goes, oh, I'm a bit worried about talking to this guy, but I was more worried about talking to his wife. Who's, mm. and it's, but and they all look at each other and go, women. Women, yeah. <laughs> nag, 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 eh? <laughs> anyway, enjoy cunt village. Sorry, sorry, Luke. <laughs> I didn't hear. <laughs> oh no, he's not, he's not going to repeat it. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Isn't that what you said? I'm not just ripping on you. No, joke. it is. It is. It is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I suddenly thought maybe Luke. I misheard you, and then no, I've just no, gone. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry, Luke. But, sorry. But- but just on a on a similar note, just to end on, um, Jennifer Lawrence has come out this week and said <laughs> yes. that she she would like some praise and some recognition for being the first female star of an action movie, and mm. um, and it, it, it's great. Ridley Scott has come out and said, yeah, he based uh, Ripley in Alien on <laughs> on, um, Jennifer on Jennifer Lawrence. Lawrence's performance <laughs> <laughs> in The Hunger Games. Very good. Yeah. yeah, like that's a big call to come out when <laughs> it's very I wrong. Did say, I yeah. saw there was some follow up from her where she said, "Oh, that's I didn't. I, that's not what I meant. It was a bad. I, I spoke poorly." Yes, it was. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You did. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> but, she did very well in that. I think they're garbage oh, yeah, movies, yeah. but um, she does perfectly yeah. well. And, maybe, I mean, maybe she and thought. I'm sure maybe she hasn't heaps, seen a lot of movies. <laughs> she yeah, thought she was. <laughs> there's heaps of young girls who. Yeah, well, it's like how kids always think that their favorite songs aren't covers. Well, of maybe old songs. she. Is she maybe talking about that more mainstream that for younger mm. audience? Because like, remember, Aliens wasn't for remember, children. Remember when George Lucas said that Red Tails was the first film ever with a 
with a little old black, black cast. main cast. And yeah. it was like, nah, mate, it's, it's not. not. <laughs> it's yeah. lots of those. It's really not. It, it yeah. might be the first made by a white person. Mm. Yeah, possibly. But probably yeah. not even, but yeah, maybe. Well, I, it's, it's like, I, 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 if, you, if you're playing the drinking game, Dan's about to talk about Orson Welles again for a sec. Um, oh. But Orson Welles- Meaningless. Um, put on this play uh, called Voodoo Macbeth, which he put on in Harlem in the 20s. And it was the, the first all <laughs> black Shakespeare that had been done in the mainstream. And it oh, was wow. very, very relevant and got a lot of press. But what they don't talk about today necessarily is that when the lead actor occasionally couldn't go on, he was sick or something, Orson went on in blackface. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Unironically, we just Amazing. boot polish up and on Amazing. English. The show must go on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> mm. ah, <laughs> is this a dagger I see before me? <laughs> just do anything? <laughs> <laughs> just do anything? So uh, funny. I'm glad you put those I- clips in because I loved hearing those again and I hadn't heard the Shatner one and, and that was so good. <laughs> oh, the Shatner one's good. <laughs> okay. Yeah. No, I'm pretty stupid. sure I nailed it exactly the way you said. Just <laughs> <laughs> amazing. The one thing I was going to note with this, James Cameron. So, Luke, there's a pregnant character in this who's a warrior. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's called that out. And then he actually then calls out uh, Wonder Woman and Captain Marvel. All these amazing women come up, <clears throat> but they're not mums and they're not pregnant while they're fighting, fighting evil. And it just made me think he probably doesn't know this. I think Gal Gadot was literally pregnant when they filmed <laughs> one of the Wonder Woman movies because they made right. a big deal yeah. about it. So I was like, I mean, it's not in the film, so he's not wrong, but it just made mm. me think of that. And I was like, yeah, I, pre- I bet he doesn't know that. Otherwise, he wouldn't have used that as an example. That's mm. great. Yeah. But to bring this full circle, he was married to Catherine Bigelow, who did make The Hurt Locker mm. and Zero Dark Thirty that we talked about before and thought that was Patty Jenkins. Patty Jenkins. And that's the Not only that, circle of he, logic you get on this podcast. He was married to, um, why can't I think of her fucking name? You know who I mean. Sarah Connor. Mm-hmm. Oh. Um, Linda Hamilton. She yeah. also based her performance based on, Jennifer character on Jennifer Lawrence. <laughs> <laughs> that's all for this week. Thank you for listening and we hope you enjoyed the show. If you enjoyed it, then please subscribe and iTunes to receive episodes automatically. We'll see you next time.